Okay, today's lessons on eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells. The difference, the location of the genetic material cells need to reproduce and function. Science has separated cells into two broad categories, eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells. Eukaryotic cells have a nucleus, while prokaryotic cells do not. On average, eukaryotic cells are about 100 times larger than prokaryotic. The cell membrane. Every cell has a boundary that separates the inside and the outside. The boundary is the cell membrane. It is a protective covering that encloses the entire cell. Any material coming into or out of the cell must pass through the cell membrane. Contained inside the cell membrane is a gelatin-like material called the cytoplasm. Most of the work of the cell is carried out in the cytoplasm. Okay, so here's some notes about prokaryotic cells. Most of them are unicellular organisms. And an example would be bacteria. They have no nucleus. There is no separate compartment for the genetic material. Instead, it is in the cytoplasm. There are no organelles. It's much smaller than eukaryotic cells. Eukaryotic cells, here's your notes. Almost all are my, uh, multicellular organisms. An example would be plant and animal cells. It has a nucleus and that contains the genetic material enclosed in its own membrane. Much larger than prokaryotic cells, about 100 times larger. Okay, and here's your assignment. Let me put this smaller so that I can show you. You're going to make a Venn diagram of the prokaryotic cells and the eukaryotic cells. So you just uh, click and drag it. So small, it's smaller. Prokaryotic cells are smaller than eukaryotic. Bacteria would go to prokaryotic cells. No nucleus is also prokaryotic. Okay, so animal and plant cells would be eukaryotic cells. They're both cells, so you put it in the middle where it's red. Um, eukaryotic cells are bigger than prokaryotic. And it has a nucleus, so that would go to eukaryotic. If you like my channel, please subscribe.